In this section, I want to change my topology a little bit. Of course, I have done this, just I'm going to explain it to you and show you BGP based path selection algorithm in my network. As you can see, I have removed the link between router 4 and router 3. I have added the link between router 3 and ISP1. Now you can see that I have two exit points to AS100. One is from my router 2, one is from my router 3. In my case, I have put router 1 and router 2 and router 3 under AS123. Router 1 is a cell rot reflector, and router 2 and 3 are clients of router 1. And as you can see, router 4 and ISP1 are under AS100. There is a RIP configuration with minimal, uh, you know, networks uh, configured on router 4 and ISP1. And now I want to show you the actual configuration here. I have made one little thing here that is not desirable, but just for simplicity, I, I, I want to have this. On router 2, I have advertised the default route to router 4. As I told you, this is not a good practice, but this is just for simplicity here. And on router 3, I have uh, originated a default route and sent it to ISP1. So, if I go to router 2 and go to router BGP, I can show you that router 4 is receiving a default originate default route. But as I told you, this is not a good practice. You should always create aggregates and send them to other ISPs so that you are quite specific about what you are advertising. Okay. Now, if you can see, if I go to router 1, I have router 2 and router 3 in AS123 and they are rot reflector clients of 9. On router 3, I have router 4, let's go to rod in BGP. I have router, on router 3, I have ISP1 as a neighbor and the remote address is 31, 31, 31, 100. And on router 2, I have router 4 as a neighbor. And you can see that I have selected to have 192.168.24.104 as the remote address. It is in remote AS100. Router 4 and ISP1 are internal BGP neighbors. Okay? Now, the first thing that I want to show you is routing table on router. One. If I go to IP routes, I can see that I have BGP routes here from AS100, for example, 100, 100, 11, 0, and I am receiving this from two different places. One is 31, 31, 31, 100, that is uh, advertised by a router 3. One is 192, 168, 24, 104, that is router Four, uh, that comes through router 2. But some of these routes, specifically those that end to router 4, are blue. This means they are inactive, and the reason is they are unreachable. It tells me that 192.168.24.104 uh, is unreachable. If I go and select a ping, I can see that 192.168.24.104 unreachable and tells me there is no route to the host. How can I correct this? If I go to router 2, the link between router 2 and router 4, I can see that under route in OSPF. I have not advertised this in OSPF, so my network does not know anything about this. So I can click on this plus sign at 192.168.24.0.24 to area backbone and everything in my network is in area backbone. If I go here I can see that Ether2 is, uh, Ether1 is added here. Okay, I can make it passive of course but there is no need for that. If I go to router 1 now I can see that by clicking on the start the ping is quite successful. So, close this now some of these routes are changing 
and they are going to be active but I see some other thing here I can see that it tells me now on rather 131 31 31 100 is recursive via 10 10 13 103 and it is going to be inactive it was active in previous section what happened to that if I double click on that I can see the result you can see that it tells me the scope is 40 but the target scope is 30 and I know that scope always should be less than target scope I'm going to correct this in a very easy moving next section let's go to router 3 and check IP routing table on router 3 if I go to router 3 and open IP routes I can see that it tells me routes that come from my network 31313100 are reachable but routes that come from other networks are not reachable now check the routing table on router 2 and as you expect you can see that routes that come from router 4 are preferred but I do not see the other routes here so let's go to router 1 and check the advertisement if I go to routing BGP and select the advertisement I can see that I am selecting some routes to router 3 actually those that I have received from router 2 but I do not send any route to router 2 and why is this like this why I am not sending routes to router 2 actually this comes from IP routing table again you can see that these are blue inactive and because they are inactive I am not sending them to router you know 2 and the only thing that I am advertising is this that comes from 31 31 31 100 this is the only route that I am advertising and this is because this is active okay let's change this a little bit as I told you one of the problems is about target scope the target scope is less than a scope if I double click on this I can see that the target scope is 30 where can I set this target scope let's go to router 3 now I want to set this as a you know try and um, as an experiment let's go to router 3 and set target scope for all rows that I receive from ISP1 and see if this is propagated to router 1 if I go to router 3 I can go to routing and create a filter and you can see that I already have created this filter the filter name is BGP in. you can double click on this and go to matchers and create a filter in the name of BGP in. just type in the name I don't have any uh, you know a specific route in mind so I select to have all prefixes I do not add anything here and as you can see if I go to access uh, to action I can select the action of accept for example and set the target scope to 255 this way I am changing the target scope to the highest value possible click on apply click on OK now you have a route filter here that you can use in BGP now if I go to route in BGP I know that on router 3 ISP1 is my neighbor I select ISP1 here double click on that and select to have an infilter of BGP in and click on OK now if I go to IP routes on router 3 that I have set the route here you can see that by double clicking on one of these routes that I received via BGP I have a target scope of 255 and the scope is less than target scope so it should work just fine on router 3 it is working just fine but as you saw in router 1 it is not if I double click on that I can see that the target scope is not propagated to router 1 so target scope seems to be a local value now let's do the same thing in router 1 and see if this is working if you here if I uh, select one of these active routes I can see that here target scope and scope is again not working so why is this like this although I see target scope is lower than the scope this route is active but the other route is not active so the problem should be somewhere else 
it is not actually about target and uh, scope and target scope it has something to do with something else I don't know why but let's check again double click on one of these routes you can see the gateway is this it is recursive via router 3 it is type of unicast the distance is 200 nothing specific here if I go to attribute I can see that the origin is in incomplete local preference and ace path is the same 100 if I double click on the other one I can see the same items here click on attributes the same attributes on BGP so they're the same so I want to go to router 3 and remove the filter that I have created on that if I go to routing BGP select ISP1 remove this filter click on OK and uh, go to routing filter and remove this I don't need it anymore so I don't want to have it on the route filter so that it will make me make mistakes now here do I have a routing filter created no nothing here so now that I have removed it I just want to show you other factors than what we see here I'm going to change some more attributes on uh, BGP and show you that this is going to change with my changes 